approximately 3.30 p.m. this afternoon, uh, a bus driver here at Landmark Christian School was over here at this property to my left. Uh, it's a gravel parking lot. There were no students or children present here when this happened. Uh, the bus was experiencing some kind of mechanical failure, uh, and unfortunately the driver crawled under the bus, we believe, to try to make a repair, uh, and very tragically the bus rolled forward onto the driver, which killed her. Are you releasing uh, identity yet? Or? We are not releasing identity at this time. We're asking uh, for identifying information to be released by the medical examiner's office. Is this driver a, a contractor or an uh, employee of the school system? Would you I'll have to verify, verify that, but I believe she was an employee of Landmark Christian School. She was a 66-year-old female. Um, and again, I believe she does work for the school. And this is a, a private school, obviously. Have yes, they, sir. Have they had any comments on this? Um, the school has not released a statement to my knowledge yet. I know our city mayor has released a statement, which I'll make sure I get to you. Uh, and then just on a personal note, Landmark Christian School is a big part of this community here mm -hmm. in Fairburn. Uh, and the students, faculty, and staff, our, our heartfelt condolences go out to them with this tragic accident. Uh, it's just absolutely terrible. And since it's an accident, there's no one, no charges, no, nothing. No, no charges, there. anything like that. There's only a single person involved. Uh, and again, it's just one of those one of those terrible things that uh, we'll have to investigate and make sure we have an, a full understanding of what happened. That is why we've asked the state patrol to come out and conduct an investigation, uh, because that's what we owe to the victim and the family uh, and the friends, is so we can have an understanding of what happened. Uh, so hopefully we can share this experience so it never happens again.